And date GP, right, in Christchurch. Uh, she's been caught handing out fake vaccine medical exemptions. woman called Joni Gerard runs a weight loss clinic in Kaiapoi, secretly recorded saying the vaccine was horrible medicine, how to convince your boss the exemption was real, and how one of her fake passes had even helped somebody get past international border control. Now, the Ministry of Health, WorkSafe, and the Health and Disability Commissioner, possibly the police are investigating now. The chair of the New Zealand Medical Association, Dr Alistair Humphreys, with us. Alistair, morning to you. Good morning. How bad is this? Well, this seems on the face of it uh, to be fraudulent practice. So, um, and, and it's not without precedent. Of course, there are doctors occasionally who write um, medical certificates, which are not valid ones. So I think there's a strong case to be answered here for fraud. And I think the police should be investigating it. Where is the line? Because it's not, it's not illegal to be an anti-vaxxer and a doctor, is it? No, it's not illegal to be an anti-vaxxer. Uh, but to fabricate medical certificates, there is case law uh, of doctors who have been convicted of fraud for fabricating uh, sick notes for people. This actually is worse than that because it puts uh, other people at risk. Oh, of course. But where's the line? It's, it's like going along to the doctor and say, I need a certificate, doctor, because I am exhausted. I am run down. I hate my work. I hate my life. I'm in deep trouble. And they go, oh, I'm so sympathetic there to have a note. Whereas another doctor would go, no, harden up, mate. So where's the, is there a very clear line that says you cross it or not? Um, if a patient is properly uh, investigated, properly examined, and has a genuine reason for uh, needing time off, a doctor can validly sign them a sick, a sick note or a medical certificate, um, but uh, that that would be the line. You know, the person has to have a reason. It may be a mental health reason, yeah. but somebody needs a genuine reason. Uh, on the face of it, this looks as if there are no genuine reasons for issuing these certificates. How do you explain... I found this interesting. The vociferous nature of these anti-vaxxers. They're not just people who go, hey, listen, I'm an anti-vaxxer and I'm cool with it. They're, they're, they're sort of aggro, they're angsty, they're loud, sometimes violent, aggressive. How do you explain that? It's very difficult to explain. It's, uh, it goes beyond logic. Um, and often the more extreme men do, do not seem to be amenable to logic. It's almost uh, as if they have a, a kind of religious passion that this is not amenable to explanation so hard to explain but uh, very passionate i mean the one thing that should be pointed out is there is only one doctor in this country that can give you an exemption to certificate and that doctor is dr ashley bloomfield um, a gp can only make a recommendation to the ministry that you are exempt from a vaccine they cannot actually give you an exemption certificate so any employer who sees a note from a doctor, that doctor, it has to be on Ministry of Health letterhead and it has to have come from the ministry. Very good point, Alistair. Appreciate your expertise very much. Alistair Humphrey, Chair of the New Zealand Medical Association.